How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week five. We've got our conference opener against Georgia State on the line, but obviously, as always, we're going to go through the chores first, starting with our recruiting. And like we've been doing, we're going to go to the bottom of the board and work our way up, making sure that things are looking good. Currently gaining with Bobby Goolsby, and I imagine that'll be the same as we move up the board. So in second place on a lot of these guys, gaining with a lot of them. And so long as we're in that spot, we should be looking solid for the rest of the season. Kyle Walton, we're going to be losing 30, so we're just going to go give him 50 points. Should give us 20 points back and get us back in the lead sooner rather than later. And it should be looking like that as we scroll through. This is actually kind of ridiculous at how many players on the board here we have the lead with. I, I see no reason why we shouldn't get the full 25 scholarship players this season. Four players are ready to visit, so we'll go ahead and get those set up. And again, we were going Texas State, Georgia Southern, so um, it just kind of depends on complimentary visits right now. I'm going to say if you don't have complimentary visits for Georgia Southern right now, we're going to go to Texas State because we want that game to start getting a few more players. And this way, we will get our recruits spread out. Now, we still have a bunch of points to put in, 300, so this time we're just going to go through and offer scholarships to the players that we're the highest up on the board with. See what we can do. And in fact, Ryan Fordnall, we're going to take his points away because he doesn't need them. We can give him 50 back via the scholarship. Uh, actually, he already has the scholarship offer, so he's fine there. And we can go offer the scholarship to Donald Dunn, David Singleton, Buck Webb, Calvin McCoy, Jamal Coley, Jonathan Williams, and Harry Robertson. We have also now added three more guys to our board just to make sure that we're maxed out at the 35. Uh, we've gone for Stevie Holmes, Gamara Kelly, and Greg Sims, a center of tackle and an athlete. Um, athlete that can do a little bit, maybe a little bit of defense, maybe he could be a bad quarterback, but we're going to have to wait to scout these guys until next week. But we've picked them, not just because they looked okay based on their physicals, but also because the teams that are recruiting them don't seem to be the best. I mean, Gamara Kelly may be a little bit different, um, and these guys are getting good bonus points, but maybe they're not getting crazy. They're also relatively low on how locked they are, so I figured there maybe there's a chance that we could sneak in there and grab some of these guys. Recruiting is done, which means we get the chance to level up, and, you know, I'm almost tempted to go for some sort of game management, but that seems foolish. We're going to go closer, um, get the recruiting points up it, near the end of the season. Now, this won't affect us right away, but it's better to do the one that's going to give us more weeks with that plus 500 rather than the one that, you know, we're almost through week seven at this point. We wouldn't be getting everything out of that level up however in between seasons when we get the chance to reset our coaching levels we would probably take the one from the closer and put it into the opener our quick look at the top 10 here again there's a chance that the number two team and continue to lose oklahoma had a bye last week so they survived but they have to play the number four notre dame squad this time around so we could see uh, a crazy upset there. We had some more losses last week. Number three, Florida, and number five, Oregon fell, um, as well as number nine, Texas A&M. Did anybody else? Number 14, Ohio State, number 18, LSU. And it looks like Arizona State as well as they have uh, dropped out of the rankings. Our Heisman watch is looking a little bit different at this point. Sam Ellinger comes up. Trevor Lawrence goes down. You got Chris Brown coming out of Cal up in third place. Travis Etienne still in or up to second and somehow still in first is Tavion Robinson. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm missing some Heisman hype here. Dude had two catches for 16 yards in their last game against Marshall. He's got five catches on the season for a total of 59 yards and one touchdown. I Does he have some sort of dirt on the Heisman voters? I don't, I don't understand. Whatever the case is, let's just get into our game here. Again, we have the overall advantage over Georgia State. 
they seem to be doing better at picking up yards and preventing yards. However, we're scoring more points. These guys have played two games. Ooh, they beat West Virginia, who's one and three. That's they kind of slaughtered them 26 to seven. So that would make you think, oh, maybe I should be a little bit worried. But then they won by one point against their FCS team. Not only that, but after our game, next week they play Bama so maybe this could be a bit of a I mean I don't know if you can call it a trap game when we're pretty evenly matched but maybe they're focused on what's going to happen to them next week I got to imagine Alabama's just going to slaughter these guys so we will go ahead and get right into it wearing the white and teal aways um, Georgia State's going to be just in their defaults because uh, I believe everybody else in the Sun Belt, except for you know the the few newcomer schools that were added to the game with the mod uh those schools have not been updated uh they're gonna finish the power five first i believe and then maybe start working on g5 so no update for the panthers and i think in all of our out of conference games here for the next season or two we're gonna try to make sure that they are teams that have been updated so right now sec and acc and then eventually, I would like to see maybe we do some conference realignment and uh, we'll, we'll find ourselves in a conference where every team has already been updated. So by the numbers, this looks like a very solid Georgia State team. Their top players in that mid 80 area and no injuries for them. McCall is questionable. I don't know what we're gonna do yet i think we might let him sit for this game we've been doing pretty well without him so we might as well make sure that he's as healed as possible before bringing him back into the fold so on the road again means that we get to go tails uh okay uh, that didn't go how we expected we lose the toss we're gonna start with the football and Diggs will be back to return let's see game underway can we go ahead and get this w Decent looking return at the beginning in a foot race. Diggs breaks a tackle, gets across the 45 and sets up Fred Payton and the rest of the offense for a potentially very solid drive. First and 10. We'll put this one right up the middle. And that was a nice six yard gain. First time out. Second and four. Payton's going to go to the air here. Oh my God. What am, <laughs> what am I doing there? terrible decision making on that pass we're gonna go to the air this time potentially denmark open he holds on to it and gets tackled at the 15 yard line that sets us up with a nice first down here which doesn't go for much and he really got a lot of separation on that catch i'm still kind of surprised by it trying to follow the blocking we get three yards and we'll see if we can find ourselves a first in goal here latushko oh that's a bad pick from me. We don't give up too much. There's a flag on the play, but I doubt that we're going to get the ball back here. Well, the clipping will put them back to their own five, so maybe a chance of the safety. But that was a devastating uh, interception to have happen. I'm going to say that this is a run. They're very close to their own end zone. It is a run. I called it a run up the middle. Uh, we just can't do anything about it. And they pick up an incredibly easy first down, and then... As every team seems to do, they go into the hurry up. Going to the air here. Decent coverage forcing uh, Brown to throw that one away. Second and 10. They're going to go with a little screen. <laughs> that was terrible. And that sets these guys up with a third and long. See if we can get the stop. Tight end goes in motion. And they will go to the air. Uh, Wow. That might be the worst thrown ball I've ever seen in this game. Brown missed him by a mile and a half on that throw. Gives us the punt, and Diggs gets us to midfield with a short little return. So the first drive ended in the interception. Can we just get some points on this one is what I'm asking for. Second and 10, we'll try the slip screen. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Loss is six. Third and long here. Well, we'll see if we can throw for this one. It is worth throwing fourth down we're gonna have to punt this one away good chance for a coffin corner we'll see do i improve a little bit can this sneak past the return man oh look at that 
for the brand an absolute beauty it dies on the one yard line holy shit we, we need to be bringing as much pressure as possible there's a good chance for a safety they run towards the edge oh my gosh so much daylight he cut it back i've never seen them cut it back to the middle like that they get 15 yards so we had an absolutely perfect chance for the second time this game to get a safety and we just completely blew it for the second time in a row it seems maybe they figured it out just run the ball against us here though a third and inch is a chance for us to get the stop expecting this to be a handoff they do pitch it out to the edge and we hit him but he's gonna pick up the first down first this one's not going as we would have expected at the start of the game although that's a decent stop Destin's picking up a lot of yards Let's see what we can do they go to the air quarterback scrambling uh, <laughs> oh, shut up. oh my gosh I just got I just got it absolutely juked out by him just running the same direction well that was embarrassing they're gonna go to the air here scrambling again takes the sack and this forces a second along we're probably expecting them to go to the air maybe a screen quarterback's taken off nobody's gonna be able to get to him in time uh oh my gosh nobody can tackle either matt's broken tackle fumble and they're gonna pick it up oh i was going for the strip we got the strip but they just get so lucky to recover that one final play of the quarter man we had five guys in the area they had one and they're the ones that came up with the ball incredibly fortunate and at the end of the first quarter they've got what is that a, a first and goal to work with and uh it looks a lot like they're gonna be the first ones on the board that one was too easy tucker greg into the end zone and just like that they take the seven nothing lead and how about this the curse of number two could continue number four notre dame up 14 7 on number two oklahoma at the moment on this return digs is definitely gonna have a chance fielding it at just across the five and oh my gosh getting obliterated after only 17 yards so i've been struggling on offense we'll see maybe if we can put a drive together here decent first down carry nets us three yards we'll go to the air on second and seven javon highly has the one-on-one -on -one. we get strip sacked thankfully we're able to pick that one up but it's third and long again so we call the four verts here and we'll see if somebody can get up and right on the seam isaiah likely gets us the first down along with 21 yards so this has not been a great game for us this far struggling even just to get past midfield and when we have we've thrown an interception great run that time on the read option for cj we're gonna look to tie this one up going with the play action here on this first down over the middle we have latusco who you know thankfully actually had the ball thrown behind him because uh it allowed him to slow up on that one second and five we're gonna go with the counter the block is there following the blockers cj's got a lot of space and he gets across the 25 and the 20 inside the red zone for a quick first down there we'll look for the play action on this first down inside the red zone and i gotta get outside the pocket i'm not seeing anything i'm throwing this one away there was a chance with a little bit more patience we would have found somebody open but i don't want to risk uh taking a sack or throwing a pick in that situation unfortunately the second down run goes nowhere so on third and ten well we threw it up for elliot denmark but we missed by a mile and we're gonna settle with a field goal that is assuming that i can hit this kick looks good oh man i put that a little bit further to the right than i wanted but it's seven three and Maybe we can get a stop before halftime. Georgia State comes out, throws on the first down, except Cornelius Brown scrambles. We get the one yard sack. And they go quick to the line there. Over the middle, they find Dixon, who's able to pick up 21 yards near midfield, just like that. Apparently, that's only their first completion of the game as they go right over the middle again and pick up another 14. Don't go to the ground on this one. We were there. Great user for me, which is surprising. But then we just got absolutely destroyed by the stiff arm. Second and six, they go to the air. Quarterback gets sacked. We've got him in a third and long. Can we get the stop here? 
Got to go to the air here on third down. Ugh, they go over the middle. I knew it was coming. I just couldn't get there in time. Here's a handoff out towards the edge. Gallagher with a great tackle. Stop him behind the line. This one is below two minutes to play in the half as they get the first and ten. So far, this drive has been incredibly disappointing. I see the out route. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I got nobody to blame on that one but myself. So... 14 to 3. This is not looking great. They get the ball uh, to start the second half as well. This was a game I thought we were going to destroy. Although, on cue, Diggs puts us across the 45 yard line. So we've got uh, not too far of a distance to cover on this one. And it could be a done in one play. Javon Hiley, the one handed diving catch. 38 yards is unfortunately not in the end zone, but first and goal for us. I'm definitely taking a look at that beauty again. You love to see it. With so much time and uh, Georgia State having two timeouts, we're going to try to burn a little bit of clock on this one. Fullback dive, first and goal gets us nowhere, but I'm not too worried about it yet. The last thing that I want is to give these guys time to score again before getting the ball at halftime, so... We burn a little bit of clock. CJ finds the end zone. That was a great run, all things considered. So it's a four-point game, but with 40 seconds and two timeouts left, they could definitely make something of this. Dixon way quicker than me. We give up nine yards, but the clock will thankfully be moving. No, they took a timeout, so 37 seconds and one timeout left. We'll see if we can do something. They go over the middle again. Oh my gosh, these slant rats are killing me. See if there's anything that we can do to stop this. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. The routes that they're finding are just all too easy. Thankfully for us, they're about to run out of time though. Um, and actually, I need to be careful because this could end up really poor. Um, they're in field goal range, aren't they? Five seconds left. They take the time out. You hate to see that. Well, we're going to send out the punt return team. I doubt that they short this. Uh, but we might as well give ourselves a chance five seconds on the clock to return this it's missed and there's actually one second We're gonna run a play here the field goal goes wide right for Georgia State, which allows us Time sorry to throw up a Hail Mary and the ball just goes out of bounds. So <laughs> I think that we could have had a chance there, but uh, Just couldn't put the ball in the right spot We go into the locker rooms down for it and giving them the ball so defense needs to do their job when we come back out for the third quarter. Our defense has had very little success this game. They're going to come out five wide, and just like that, it's eight yards. It's time to bring a little bit of pressure, although it doesn't really work in our favor. Brought the corners on the blitz. Unfortunately, they run it up the middle, and they get the first down. See if we can do anything in this game. Another ball. Thankfully tackled only after a gain of three yards. Here we go again. They go with this short little slant route. We have them in a third down, but it seems like an awfully easy third down to get. Third and one. They go with the quick throw. Uh, not really sure what was supposed to happen there, but he just missed his receiver. And that's going to bring the punt return team out for us. So uh, maybe catching a little bit of a break there. And we're going to be able to return this. Diggs fielding it. Cleanly, uh, only getting seven yards, but we have a chance here to take the lead. Trying the mid screen on first down. We find Denmark, but he only gets a yard. Maybe he should have thrown that a little bit earlier. Read option time on second and nine. Fred's going to keep it. Peyton cutting it back, has some space. and gets tackled, but picks up 12 yards in a first down. Running the counter on this first down. Oh, the blocking is great. The cutback is great. And it's another 12 yards. Back to back 12 yard plays is uh, always going to make me happy. We'll see if the play action works for us here. As we look to find Latushko and miss him. Fred, just not on it through the air today. Six of 13 passing. This one has to be completed. We find CJ and get another first down, but it's, it's kind of rough. First and 10, we'll put this one on the ground. There's no blocking, but we cut it north and get six yards anyways. Second and four. We're going to go to the air over the middle. Oh my gosh, we missed him by a mile again. That was one of those plays that very well could have been intercepted had it been accurate. As uh, White will come in and pick up the first down on the ground. But it ends up just being a bad miss. 
So a little bit disappointing there, although our running game has been very good on this drive. We'll see if this works at all. Denmark coming in motion for the sweep. Cuts north and he got himself a first down. Sam Denmark with a solid run on that one. Uh, CJ's gonna pick himself up four yards. Now let's see if we can find him on the slant into the end zone. He is wide open. Denmark holds on to it. I know he's had a case of the dropsies this season, but uh, Sam gets in and that gives us a three point lead here with two minutes to go in the third quarter. On first down, they go play action. Oh, great route. Wide open Carter. He broke the first tackle. We're very lucky he didn't break the second. I need the defense to have a good drive this time out. Make sure that we're set up as we go into the fourth quarter to win this game. They hand that one off. That's a good tackle. So third and six, we have a good chance here to uh, get off the field on defense. They go to the air here on third down. Open McCoy on the slant. First down for Georgia State. Little draw play here on this first down. Thankfully dropping them for a loss of a yard. And this one's going to be handed off. Looking up the middle. Just kind of nowhere to go on that one. Third and long here. Maybe a chance. We have not looked good on these third down plays. They're going to go with the screen. We have to be able to get there. Gallagher. Oh, we are lucky to knock him out of bounds. Unable to get the tackle, but pushing him out counts just as much. Forces the fourth and seven. They're going to try to kick this field goal. They missed their first attempt. They're going to miss this one as well. This kicker has the distance, but zero accuracy for him as number two Oklahoma has actually tied up with Notre Dame. They were down quite a bit. I think we saw them down three touchdowns at one point in this game. Looking for a shot deep here. First down. Oh, we might have him. Javon Highway, the ball's underthrown. Oh, I got lucky again. I got very lucky there. Cannot afford to be making throws like that as we're going to end the third quarter with a third and 10 here. Um, not necessarily the best look. We do have a three point lead with the ball, but we're going to need uh, a little bit of luck to make sure that we stay on top in this one. Going to the air on third down. Denmark, good catch. Perfect timing on the route. And the ball gets there in time. See uh, if we can have some success running the ball on this drive. It's been a bit of a struggle. But if we can burn a little bit of clock with the lead and then score, we'd be looking very good. On second and eight. Over the middle, tough throw. Oh my gosh, why am I throwing that? My decision making has been suspect at best. And we're very lucky to have the ball right now as they're bringing some pressure. Uh, you know, I'm going to scramble for this. I think we had guys open, but we'll pick up the yards on the ground. Not a fan of how I've been passing in this game so far. And, you know, it doesn't look great here either. Although potentially in the end zone. Oh, I threw it so late again. What am I doing? We're lucky again. It's not picked off. How do I stop myself from throwing these passes? Something is just drawing me to throw up the uh, the terrible pass in this game. Uh, when the run obviously has been working well enough, third and inches, but the passes have just not been on point. We'll hand it off here. We do have the first down and the clock will keep moving. The question is, can we go ahead and find the end zone without giving up the ball? Another handoff here. Actually decent blocking that time we find a gap and we pick up five yards on first down. Second and five, the little counter gets us almost enough for another first down. This is a very crucial third down for us. If we pick it up, we can continue to burn clock and look for the end zone. Otherwise, I might have to take the field goal. We weren't even close. Reese White loses two yards. And we're going to have to settle for this attempt at three points, which <laughs> I tried to miss, but we get it. Only up six, 314 in the game. And even number two, Oklahoma has now taken the lead. This is a bad spot to be in. A touchdown and an extra point wins the game for uh, Georgia State as Dixon makes a beautiful diving grab, had perfect separation, and I have absolutely no faith in the defense, although they go for the screen. This usually is a good stop for us. Still giving up positive yards is not great. Second and seven. They go to the air again. Quarterback has plenty of time. He's going to scramble. I'm ready for it, though. We force the third down. 
If they don't pick up this third down conversion, I expect them to punt it away. Ball's tipped up, picked off by Gallagher. We got the ball. I was going to say I would expect them to go for it on fourth down, but that is disastrous. Teddy goes up and gets the football. And with a six-point lead and less than two and a half minutes to play, we are definitely looking to burn the clock out here, although it's not a great start. CJ not getting anything on that one. Georgia State has taken their first time out. They know that they need as much time on the clock as possible to stay alive in this game. CJ picking up a massive chunk of yards. It's third and two, second time out taken, 212 on the clock. We're going up the middle on this one. And I know that they're going to bring pressure. I just got to hope for the offensive line. That's a massive hole. And CJ's able to get the first down. Final timeout taken for Georgia State. 208 left in the game. The offense has been exceptionally clutched so far on this drive, and they continue it. I don't see how that we screw this up shy of a turnover. And if you look at the bottom, number two, Oklahoma, has survived to beat number four, Notre Dame. So the curse of the number two is not continuing this week. Potentially broken by the Sooners. And ooh, we've got ourselves a third down to work with. We should be in field goal range, however. So if we don't pick up this one, we could extend this lead to nine points. The blocking, not oh, just enough there. I thought we were short. The refs are going to call pretty favorably for us. And that's going to just about be the ball game. Wait as long as we can to snap this one. Although I think that we could probably just take a knee. CJ bouncing off a guy, losing a yard. And once again, in a tight game, we're going to be able to come out in the victory formation and take a knee to seal out the win. Improved a 3-1 and one on the season and find ourselves on top as the away team. So not a whole lot of crazy upsets, it seems, around the country. At number nine, Texas actually able to beat San Diego State. And Nebraska does their job against Indiana. For our game, we hold on just long enough. That second quarter, we give up 14 points, but kept them scoreless throughout the rest of the game. We managed to outrun them. They did better through the passing game, which is surprising with how well that they started running the game. A turnover for each side. We had a chance for more, and we should have given up more. And we come away with the time of possession battle as well. CJ ends up as our player of the game. 25 carries, broke the 100-yard mark, getting to 128 and a touchdown. And on defense, Teddy Gallagher, you know, one tackle for loss, eight total tackles. But that incredibly crucial late-game interception off of the tip, really to, uh, to seal the fate for Georgia State. By a razor's edge is correct from the game there. We move to three and one. We give Georgia State their first loss of the season. We'll go ahead and advance towards this bye. We will be saving the recruiting in the bye week for next episode. No crazy news on the recruiting trail. Just more guys ready to visit. Uh, I expect to start seeing some commits trickle in, especially as we get up to uh, our first big home game with all the recruits bunch of xp always is nice and we uh have quite a few points 400 points for the bye week and then next week we get to play that georgia southern game with a ton of the recruits visiting and we could be bringing a few more that's gonna do it for this episode though please feel free to subscribe and like the video both of those mean the world to me and like they say it's free to subscribe and you can always unsubscribe later if you need to but again, thanks for the support. I hope you guys are enjoying watching these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. And if you want to watch some more content, we're live often over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.